I joined Alpha Company probably about two, three weeks ago. Coming from the drill team, going to Alpha Company, it's uh, it's a lot different actually because you know we don't really wear our blues a lot a lot of the time. It was actually kind of easy though because uh, the switch was like they helped me out with it, so I learned a lot really fast. The way it started was uh, General George Washington asked his colonels to provide uh, 11 of his best men to come and be his personal guards while he's traveling and during the battles that he uh, attended. They're supposed to be the finest in rifle manual, clean shaven, uh, you know, no alcohol uh, use or anything like that. So it's pretty much the best of the best to uh, travel with General George Washington. March. I think it's pretty interesting for me to like to be able to fire the weapon. It's, it's a lot different than a, than an M4 or 249 or anything like that. So that was pretty cool. I'd say the probably the hardest thing is learning the manual over the two, three other manuals that I've learned already. I am right. Their manual compared to like the old guards manual is, it, it's more relaxed. They are different, but the way you do them is still pretty much the same, you know, compared to uh, compared to regular army drill. For charge, you're basically marching in a line. As you're marching up, you know, the, the commander's just like, all right, you know, he yells charge, and you just basically run <laughs> as fast as you can. Commander in chief scar! You have your, your tights that you have on, um, buff shoes, your vest, and then the outer jacket that you have to wear. And also you get a scabbard, canteen, and a, a pouch for ammo. Training for the commander in chief guard, we, I've only done about you know a few days of it. When we're training for like sync and stuff, it's usually we concentrate on just getting our movements together. Ten, one, ten, two, ten, three. On George Washington's birthday. We'll be uh, performing a firing demonstration on uh, Bowling Green in front of his mansion. What it does, it showcases uh, the Revolutionary War, 18th century battlefield, uh, and the tactics, that, the tactics that were used uh, by General George Washington and the Continental Army. Ready! Hey, aim! Really, we focus on just keeping the heritage correctly and all that stuff with um, the uniform and, and, and getting our movements down correctly, make sure everything looks good for the crowd. It felt good to, you know, to do a reenactment like that. And then it was also cool to be, you know, on Mount Vernon 